This has got to stop, folks. This stuff right here has to stop. And no, I don't mean free games, okay? That's very nice that they're giving away Destiny 2. I'm talking about all these separate things from Steam that they want you to download so you can have their thing and be like, Oh my god, so good! Ah. It's, it's just annoying because I already have Steam. Okay, I already have Steam. Good launcher, buy the game, have it. It's funny how you can buy you can buy some Ubisoft games on Steam, but they still force you to have this. I usually bypass all this so I don't have to keep Origin and Uplay and Blizzard.net. Ah. It's so dumb. Why? This is, am I the only one annoyed by this? I don't want to support this. Like they want you that now that they're trying to get more attention towards Battle.net. The, oh, we're going to give away Destiny 2 for free. Guess what? You get to keep it. This isn't like, uh, it's not just free for the week and then it ends at the end of the week. You get to keep the game. Ah. But it's just, they want you to download Battle.net. And I just don't care. And I, I, I think Fortnite has a separate launcher too. I don't even care about that game, but I know it has a separate launcher too. They're just removing these games from Steam and they're putting them on launchers. It's so annoying. Stop doing that. It really just makes me not want to play your game or support it. It's just an extra annoying step that I shouldn't have to take just to play games on PC. On consoles, they don't like they don't have you. Oh, we gotta have a launcher for this, this, this. No, you put the damn game in and you play the damn game. But on PC, you gotta be like, oh, you have to have Origin, you have to have you play, you have to have this. It's like what? Are they getting like ad money from it or like what is it? I know they're getting money from it somehow, but they'd probably just get more money if they just put all their games on Steam. And just had them on Steam. Because more people, it's just more convenient to go on Steam and buy a game. These people are so dumb. And I th I'm pretty sure Black Ops 4 is only on Battle.net as well. These separate, it's so annoying. It, am I the only one annoyed by this? I really just... <sighs> I mean, you play... I mean, is this, where is this going to end? Like, if you support this, more developers are going to do stuff like this. I know Origin and Uplay have been around a long time. I don't know about Battle.net. It's, this is just, it's just so annoying to me. It really is. I know this isn't, like, an actual, like, problem. I'm just stating this because I don't really see videos talking about this. I've wanted to talk about this for a while. But, um, where does it end? Where does it end? Like I said, if you support all these separate things, you're going to have to have 20 of these for, like, every developer. You're going to be like, oh, you need to have this, 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 and this, and this, and that. And if people defend all this, it's it's so dumb. Don't, don't defend this. It should be for easier consumer access to all this stuff because it's annoying. And eventually, they'll probably have it to where it's like a subscription service for each thing. You know, they'll, they'll try to get that. Try to get that extra money. The extra money up in there. I think Origin's already doing something like that. I don't have it on my computer. Like I said, the EA games that I do have, I have a bypass. Which means you can't play the games online. But I honestly don't care. But uh, I'm not downloading Origin again. I'm not downloading Uplay again. And I probably won't be downloading Battle.net. I do kind of want to give Destiny 2 a try, but it's honestly probably just like Destiny 1, a grindathon. So I really don't care. Not going to support Battle.net. Not going to support Uplay. Not going to support Origin. And I hope you don't either. Don't do it. You, we need to tell these developers, just just put your games on Steam. Is, is it too much to ask? You could, you could just put the game on Steam. Buy it on Steam and don't have a message that after it's downloaded, oh, you need this. <laughs> what is it? What is one of the games that I have on Steam that I? Though I think the first game that I had to download a separate thing for was uh, Driver San Francisco. I was like, this is what? I have Steam already. Whatever. I've complained about this long enough. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like and uh some comments uh give me your opinions on this if you want to defend it and type a big paragraph of why this is a good thing to have 20 million separate things from steam that's just annoying and filling up unnecessary space on your hard drive and just being stupid so have a great day everybody and peace